Once again, you guys have hit me up saying what's my thoughts. A lot of you hit me up. A lot of you. And again, I appreciate it. If you want to hear my thoughts on it, you want to hear my take on it. The Goku versus Bills, Super Saiyan 3 Goku versus Bills fight on what appears to be Kyle Sama, aka King Kai's planet. Wow. This, once again, even further proves what a badass Bills is. He is throwing Super Saiyan 3 around like a rag doll. I mean, even against Majin Buu, Super Saiyan 3 was somewhat, you know, it was not that that far uh, of a gap between the powers. They were actually, he probably could have taken out the Fat Buu at Super Saiyan 3, but Bills is knocking him around, flicking him away. That shit right there, like, when I saw this clip, because a lot of you people sent me this clip, and I was just like, holy shit, you know, a lot of people are excited for this, and I understand, it's Dragon Ball Z, and for crying out loud, like, Bill seems like an odd character as well, he seems like kind of funny, and from my understanding, and there's gonna be some spoilers in this video, so if you don't want to get spoiled, you already know, but from my understanding, there's gonna be 12 gods after him, and I think from what I heard, Bill's is the weakest. So, this could possibly mean ongoing Dragon Ball Z movies, maybe bi-yearly, maybe yearly, I don't know. But I think that they're really just depending on the success of this movie. Whatever this movie does, then they will follow suit. Like, let's just say this movie bombs, or it d doesn't do what they want. Then they'll probably just say, okay, maybe we'll do one more movie in five years and wrap all the 12 gods into one. But if it does amazing, if it out, you know, if it oversees the expectations, does like, because they, they wanted to do 31.8 million. They want 31.8 million dollars out of this, which is very low compared to, you know, Hollywood. They want 100 mil. If they can do over that, we're getting like po probably bi yearly or yearly Dragon Ball Z movies after this, because they already set it up. There's 12 gods, apparently. Uh, and this is just from what I've heard, and I've heard it from everyone. So. That would mean that we would get Dragon Ball Z movies by yearly, possibly. Maybe maybe a three-year gap. I don't know what they would do. You know, it depends on really, again, the success of this movie. But that is just so crazy. The thing about it is I hope that they wrap the story around nicely. Because why haven't we heard of these 12 gods until now? Why has, hasn't King Kai or, or any of these people? So I hope they, they mesh it well together where it makes sense to that particular point. And also, um, if he's getting tossed around in Super Saiyan 3... I want a really good explanation when this movie comes out of how he gets the Super Saiyan God powers and where does it stack up against him. Because if there's like Super Saiyan God 1 or Super Saiyan God 2, Super Saiyan God 3, then it would be interesting to see impossible transformations. Maybe we would have him, if he's Super Saiyan God 3, and this is just me throwing out a, a you know a speculation, he would have the long hair of Super Saiyan 3, but it would still be like red with a red tint and black. And, you know, like, some crazy static around him or something. I don't know, but that would just be freaking epic. Um, you know, Super Saiyan God mode still, to me, isn't all that. But if there's further transformations of it, which will he, he will need it if he can't do shit in Super Saiyan 3 against Bills. And he needs God mode to even go up against him, which I don't know the fate of the movie or anything. I just know from this one clip that we've seen and, you know, little informations here and there that... He's going to need more power against apparently 12 other guys that are even stronger than Bills. Bills is the weakest, supposedly. And that's going to be freaking epic. I can't wait. Like, this movie set up, like, this little battle that we've seen of Goku getting tossed around is a big setup for further movies. Because if he's getting tossed around in base mode Super Saiyan 3, which is, like, you know, one of his strongest transformations prior to getting the God mode power up, and let's not even go to GT, <laughs> then. He's going to need a hell of a lot of training. And are they going to fit this within the timeline? Will eventually these movies stretch after the end of Dragon Ball Z and officially cut off GT? Because, again, I think that a lot of this has to do with uh, money. Of course, you know, this is a business at the end of the day. And I think a lot of it has to do with how well this movie does. If this movie does phenomenal, like, if this movie does, let's just say, outrageous $100 million, which it, it won't because Japanese movies just don't do that. But if it did $100 million we would probably even get a new series. That's how that's how serious it is. And what they would do is, because, you know, the, the, the fans want Akira Toriyama. They want Akira Toriyama to be a part of it. They would basically just have him maybe oversee things and give him 
fat loads of money. Like, they won't have him probably drawing anything, but they will have him, you know, uh, approving of different things, maybe coming up with concepts, just sitting in an office, and, you know, here's, here's half a mil, here's a million dollars, uh, go do what you want. So that, it's going to be interesting to see if they actually do an ongoing series, because you never know, 12 Gods, maybe they'll do a series instead of movies. This is all a testing point, and... Clips like this just really get me excited because if Super Saiyan 3 is a garbage compared to Bills, then people are neither going to get stronger. Vegeta is going to be nothing at this point against these gods, so he's going to need to get stronger. Maybe he's going to need to tap into this god mode power. I don't know how they even get this power, but I, I don't know. that It looks like an amazing setup. Fights like this, amazing setup to what's to come. Either a full-on series, more movies, whatever the case may be. I, I, I can't wait. 12 gods. Goku getting his ass whipped in Super Saiyan 3. Flicked away. Can't even touch him. He's grabbing his hand backwards. Like, yo, that, that shit is awesome. I, I'm, I'm loving it. But let me know what you guys think. First of all, will you be dedicated to more movies regarding these 12 gods? Also, if you're, if you prefer, which one, which one would you go with? I guess I would say, would you go with another series? Or more movies? What would you rather go with? For me personally, it's a toss-up because the movies are going to be, you know, high quality, crazy amount of money into them. But a series is going to be a lot less money. And it really would be a shame if they didn't do things correctly. Because a movie, Akira Toriyama could sit in the office for a couple days, get it done, and be out. A series, that takes time, dedication, and we really just... It's a toss up of what it would be. Me personally, I guess I would probably go with a series just because I love Dragon Ball Z. I mean, who I would love another couple hundred episodes of, of Dragon Ball Z. That's just me. But what do you guys think? Movies or a series? If they were to continue this story with these apparent uh, supposed twelve more gods, let me know in the comment section below and your overall thoughts because. Again, I'm, I'm excited. Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods just keeps on upping the ante with every twist and turn, and it's going to be amazing. That's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up if you want another series or more movies of this, because I think we will be getting that. I think this is going to exceed expectations and break that 30 million mark. Hopefully it does. Hopefully also, because I know people are, are petitioning. They want Funimation to dub this. It'll get a dub over here at some given point. Um, I, I, apparently Fox is involved in it, and if Fox doesn't get the Funimation cast, you will see me rant like you've never seen me rant before. Don't play with my childhood. Don't play with millions of people's childhoods and put freaking, uh, Tom Cruise as Goku, because you will see a side of me you've never seen before. That's all I'm going to say. As always, people, have an awesome day.